to my little kitchen here in Lecce in the south of Italy. My name is Francesco and today I'm going to make a pasta dish using the leftover ingredients from yesterday. I know a lot of people don't like to eat the same thing two days in a row, but if you use a bit of imagination, you can make something completely different the second time around, which is what I'm going to do. So I'm using some Swiss chard, I'm using cherry tomatoes, black olives and the last little piece of pancetta. I'm going to add some chili and garlic and I'm going to grate the pasta with some provolone cheese. The last little piece of that. But you don't need much and you can always improvise, especially when you're making a nice pasta dish. I'm using rigatoni today. You can use any pasta at all for this. And it's all going to be cooked in about the time that it takes the water to boil and the pasta to cook. So I hope you enjoy the recipe. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. Do leave a comment below and subscribe to the channel and come back and follow me for more. Let's cook. For today's recipe you are going to need Swiss chard, cherry tomatoes, black olives, pancetta, chili, garlic, provolone cheese and your pasta of choice. I'm using rigatoni. The first thing we're going to do is to remove the thick stalk from the chard, cut it into strips and then cut those strips into a small dice. With the stalks finely diced, what we need to do now is the same thing with the leaves. We're going to push these to one side and move on with a little bit of pancetta, which we're going to also cut into a very fine dice. With the pancetta cut, all we need to do now is to chop up our cherry tomatoes, also into a small dice, like so. Let's start cooking the finely diced stalks of the chard in some well salted water. We'll give this a good 5 or 6 minutes in advance before we add the leaves and the pasta. Whilst the chard is boiling away, we can heat up a little bit of olive oil add our pancetta and start that sizzling away. We need a bit of olive oil because we're going to add the garlic as you can see in its skin and I'm going to chop some chili straight into the pan. I'm going to leave the skin on the garlic so that it doesn't burn. Now I'm going to do the same thing again with my knife directly over the pan and chop in some black olives. After four or five minutes, we can add the green leaves and the pasta to the stalks of the chard. At this point, we can also add the cherry tomatoes into the frying pan and get them started as well. Also remember that whenever you cook anything, if you toss it in slow motion like this, it's going to taste 10,000 times better. At this point we can start adding a little of the cooking water into the frying pan so that the tomatoes cook down and slowly start to become more like a sauce. Now especially as we've added the water the garlic will have given off all of its flavour and we can remove it. We can set it to one side, continue cooking and add the pasta. We'll add a little of the water that it's cooked in and let everything continue cooking together. The rigatoni had a cooking time of 10 or 11 minutes, so I took them out of the water and added them into the frying pan after just 8 minutes. The remainder of the cooking time I did in the pan together with the other ingredients. When the pasta is al dente, turn off the heat and grate it with some provolone cheese. Mix 
this in well then add a little bit more until it becomes a nice creamy consistency and then you're ready to serve. You see, delicious pasta doesn't always have to have a tomato or a meat or a cream sauce. You can also do a great vegetable based pasta dish like this, which is an absolute delight. All you need to do now is grate it with more provolone cheese and enjoy. Buon appetito.